hello dear students welcome to exams warriors youtube channel today we are going to discuss uh, about important mcqs for term 1 board examinations 2020 and 22 today we are going to discuss about class 10th english subjects uh, first chapter la uh, letter to a god dear students you have already seen 30 questions in the first part in this video we are going to discuss about 25 question 31st to 55 okay students please share this video as much possible as you can in your friend circle because because your one share is very helpful for someone else's study okay let's start the question number 31st what is the irony in the lesson option a Lencho was sad after the hailstorm even though he was the one waiting for a shower. Option B. Postmaster laughed at a Lencho but still helped arrange money for him. C. Lencho blamed the post office employees who in fact helped him. Option D. There is no irony. The answer is Option C. Lencho blamed the post office employees who in fact helped him okay next question 32 what did Lencho think of the post office employees option a bunch of crooks option b rude option c unhelpful option d proud the answer is option a bunch of crooks Question number 33. Why was a Lencho not surprised on seeing the money in the envelope? Option A. He was too sad to acknowledge it. Option B. He had unwavering faith in God. Option C. He was an ungrateful man. Option D. None of the above. The answer is. Answer B. He had unwavering faith faith in God question number 34 the first master was a fat amiable man what is the meaning of amiable option a rude option B helpful option C friendly option D enthusiastic the answer is answer C friendly amiable means Friendly, pleasant, it's a synonyms of a friendly, amiable. Okay, dear students. Question number 35. Based on the detail of the house's location, how can it best be described? Option A. Majestic. Option B. Imposing. Option C. Solitary. Option D. Unique. The answer is answer C. Solitary means uh, own home at a uh, uh, open land area there is only one home solitary means okay question number 36 the field of a corn dotted with a flowers means that option a not a single flower was bigger than a dot option b the flower were scattered across option c the flowers were in a shaped like dots option d the flowers had shrink in size the answer is c the flowers were in a shape like dots <laughs> the question number 37 the story is all about an unconditional dash option a love option b enmity option c faith option d dependence the answer is C. Faith. Question number 38. Lencho wished for a, a downpour or a heavy shower. Pick the option that correctly lists the correct match for kinds of rain. These are uh, match the following students. Here one side the subjects and there another side the related subjects and we have to match it one is heavy rain 
टू थंडर स्ट्रोम थ्री ड्रिजल फोर टोरेंशियल रेन ऑप्शन फाइव डाउन पोर Here another side list students see the another side list students light rain that falls in a very fine drops to very heavy rain tropical rain option three it's coming down a quite strong and you get a very wet very quickly option four really heavy rain that comes very suddenly option five is a violent shot. Loud watch disturbance associated associated with the lightning, thunder, and strong gusty winds. The answer is A. Means a uh, heavy rains means a very heavy rain or tropical rain. Answer one is a heavy rain means a very heavy rain. I mean tropical rain. I mean it's a pouring. Answer for to thunderstorm thunderstorm means answer is 4 really heavy rain that comes very suddenly drizzle drizzle means 5 is a violent short lived weather disturbance associated with the lightning thunder and strong gusty winds a torrential rain one a light rain that falls in a very fine drops is called torrential rain downpour three it's a coming down quite strong and you get very wet very quickly okay students let's see next uh, next question Answer number thirty nine. Question number sorry. Question number thirty nine. Based on the given extract, what is the lencher not likely to think while looking at his field? Option one. Option two. Option three. Or option four. The answer is option two. Ah. Uh, <sighs> all set up the grand harvest i am going to be rich question number 14 which quote supports the supports the idea in the given extract option a farming is a profession of hope option b i would rather be on my farm than be emperor of the world option c farming looks might easy when your plug is a pencil and you are a thousand miles from the cornfield option d those too lazy to plug in the right season will have no food at the harvest the answer is a farming is a profession of hope question number 41 what is the meaning of peso option a friendly and pleasant option b currency of a several latin american countries option c an inner sense of the right or wrong option d covered i mean with cloth a uh, thing covered with a cloth the answer is b currency of several latin american countries Dear students, there is peso is a several Latin American countries currency while like a Indian currency is rupees, okay. And uh, one of the peso uh, dear students, Philippines is the one of the uh, Latin American country that currency is peso, okay. Question number forty-two. What was the most likely response that the postmaster expected in the Lencho's second letter? The option number one, sorrowful. Option number two, gratitude. Option number three, disappointment. Option number four, elevation. Elation. Sorry, elation. Option number five, shock. The answer is option number two, gratitude. Question number forty-three. Lencho's letter included 
ऑप्शन नंबर ए डिटेल्स ऑफ हिज प्रॉब्लम्स ऑप्शन नंबर बी डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द पोस्ट ऑफिस ऑप्शन सी बिलीफ ऑफ बीइंग लूटेड ऑप्शन डी लिस्ट ऑफ फर्दर डिमांड्स द आंसर इज आंसर सी बिलीफिंग ऑफ बिलीफ ऑफ बीइंग लूटेड क्वेश्चन नंबर 44 पिक द मोस्ट सुटेबल कोट फॉर दिस एक्सट्रैक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन सॉरी ऑप्शन नंबर ए इट इज इजियर टू फूल पीपल देन टू कन्विंस देम दैट दे हैव बीन फूल्ड मार्क तो आए ऑप्शन नंबर बी रियल नॉलेज इज टू नो द एक्सटेंट ऑफ वंस इग्नोरेंस कन्फ्यूशियस ऑप्शन नंबर सी यू सी अ पर्सन ट्रू कलर्स वेन यू आर नो लॉन्गर बेनिफिशियल टू द लाइफ अनो anonymous option number d true generosity means accepting inter gratitude ingratitude sorry coco channel coco channel the answer is option a it's easier to fool people than to convince them that they have been fooled <laughs> the quote by mark twain question number 45 who was lynch option a फॉर्मर ऑप्शन बी पोस्टमास्टर ऑप्शन सी पायलट ऑप्शन डी पोस्टमैन द आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए सॉरी ऑप्शन हियर इज समथिंग इज रॉन्ग लंच वॉज अ फॉर्मर प्लीज करेक्ट यूर सेल्फ डियर स्टूडेंट्स द लंच वॉज अ फॉर्मर नॉट अ पोस्टमास्टर दे इज अ माइट मिस कैट ओके Please correct yourself. The correct answer is former. Okay, students. Let's go on next question. Question number forty-six. What did Lencho do? Option A. Lencho collected the hailstones. Option B. Lencho went to the market. Option C. Lencho wrote a letter to God. Option D. Lencho called the police. The answer is C. Lencho wrote a letter to God. option question number 47 what things did the earth need option number a the earth needed the west wind option b the, the earth needed rains option c the earth needed sunlight option d the earth needed compost the answer is b the earth needed rains i mean heavy shower or pouring pouring means a heavy rain okay dear students pouring is a synonyms of heavy rain okay question number 48 what was a peculiar about lecho's letter it was option a it was a affixed with a used stamps option b it was written with red ink option c it was addressed to god option d it was affixed with a lot of stamps the answer is c it was addressed to a god question number 49 what does the word ox in the chapter mean a hand working option a hand working and simple person option b a domestic animal option c both of the above option d none of these the answer is a hard working and simple person next question question number 15 all through the night lencho thought only of his one hope what was it option a the help of god option b the help of neighbor option c the help of postmaster option d the help of his relatives the answer is option a the help of god question number 51 what does the story tell you about the character of lynch option a he was a very simple person option b he was a very hard working option d he had a faith in god option d all of the above the answer is d option d all of the above he had all of the above things on god question number 
but don't but don't send it to me through the mail because the post office employees are a bunch of crooks why did lencho say so option a he believed that the post office employees had taken the rest of money option b he spoke those words in his, in his ignorance and simplicity option c he was dead sure of god's help option d all of the above the answer is a he believed that the post office employees had taken the rest of money question number 53 how did the postmaster help lencho option a ask the post office employees to con contribute money option b he asked his friends to give money option c he sent the money to lencho by mail option d all of the above the answer is option a he ha he asked the post office employees to contribute the money okay question number 54 lencho's letter included option a details of details of his problems option b descriptions of the post office option c belief of being looted option d list of further demands the answer is option c belief of being looted thanks for watching dear students please subscribe our channel and i i will i'm saying this once again please share this video as much as possible you can okay okay see you dear students in next video okay